start with a question. Started with the wind um, and great start, and also um, compared to the final last year, it's a good comeback for you guys. Happy with the performance? First, start with the captain. Yeah, brilliant um, way to start the tournament. Um, I thought. You know, it was tough conditions out there. The the wicket had been under covers, and it was a little bit wet, so the ball was moving around. And I thought um, the way Atapatu and T built a partnership to start with, and then just how um, proactive we were. T, whenever the ball was full, she um, got after it, and whenever it was short, and that was the way to play on that wicket. So um, her and Mariko did a brilliant job, and to get to 150 on a wicket like that was brilliant. And then obviously Marazan Cup world class with the ball taking. Early wickets, which um, helped us get the win. Speaking of how Kirtha Satish performed, how gratifying is it for a captain to have a youngster put their hand up? And given fair break is also about having associate nations take the centre stage, does that make this win feel all the more special for you, Susie? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think last year, Atapatu and Wyatt dominated with the bat. Um, T did a good job at three, but um, to have our associates associate players pretty much win us that game off the bat um, is brilliant to see and I think the standard of the associate players I've already noticed the difference in terms of fitness the fielding um, from last year so it's just exciting where this tournament can go and yeah just absolutely brilliant from such a young player and like I said it was tough conditions as you saw some world class players struggle out there. Rita Sabish, congratulations on the first player of the match award at Fabric Invitational 2023 sponsored by Jen Corp. What does it feel like to be walking away with this distinction today? Oh, I think I feel really happy that we beat the Tornadoes. I mean, last year we lost both the games against them. And yeah, the finals, yeah, everyone was pretty disappointed. But all we did was come back strong and that's more important. Like the comebacks is more important than the setback. And I think it feels great with that first win and the bonus point as well. In terms of how you partnered with or really anchored the innings when there were wickets falling around you, most of the big names, test playing nations, couldn't really stamp their authority today. Uh, how did you tell yourself that you know you are going to be key during that innings for Falcons and you needed to get the team to a competitive total? I think initially I felt that I was batting same as last year and with that drop catch I got the flashback from last year because the person who dropped the catch was the same person as well. So I got a flashback and I knew how I wanted to play and in that finals Marizan and uh, Mariko played really well and I knew how I wanted to take forward the innings and I learned from their lesson and it's really helped me today. Yeah. Susie, you did a lot of wiping off the ball <laughs> thanks to the conditions. <laughs> But it paid you great dividends with Marizan Cab bowling one of the best innings, um, both one of the best players she's ever bowled. Your thoughts on how Cappy went about her business today? Yeah, she missed out with the bat, which you don't see often, but I knew only having batted on that wicket for a few balls that she was going to be tough and if she got it in the right areas it was going to seam around. So I think she um, was struggling to bowl against Darnay but she <laughs> bowled an absolute ripper and once she got into the fight she knew she just had to hit the stumps and she was brilliant. But yeah, she's tough in any conditions but when she's um, got the wicket doing stuff for her as well so that got us off to a great start. But I actually thought... Um, Noi Tipok from Thailand bowled at both ends to the short boundary to the long boundary, took some key wickets and she was our superstar through the middle so um, brilliant team effort and it was nice to sort of give everyone a few overs, maybe I should have wiped the ball more for myself when I bowled but um, no, happy with how it's gone um, When we chatted to you earlier and we were chatting to Tirtha, we, we you know that you all kept in touch through this one year of having uh, played since the last six tournament um, and uh, Deirdre was saying you helped her and gave her advice for the Under-19 World Cup. How has the relationship been and, and what is it like uh, re reuniting after a year? And do you see any changes in the associate players? I think I'll be asking T for advice on betting um, by the end of this tournament. So yeah, no, it's brilliant. Look, we had a real family feel. Um, it's so nice in a tournament like this that you can actually keep the same team together and build those connections even more and we've followed each other um, you know when they've played around the world everyone puts a message on the whatsapp when someone scores run somewhere and I was really excited to see the UAE team at the World Cup as well as New Zealand because I'd had a lot of those players around us in Dubai and I thought they were going to be brilliant so it's just it's going to be so cool to watch um, these players in the future grow the game globally um, and it's yeah it's just exciting to be able to play alongside them that w we would never get the opportunity to play with them let alone 
beside them, so it's been pretty cool. What was it like for you? Oh, uh, having someone so experienced, like playing so many, so much international cricket. Like I started watching cricket long before I played cricket, so I knew exactly who Susie was, <laughs> and like everyone else in my team was even before I took up the sport. So just seeing them last year in Fairbrick, it was I was surrounded by celebrities. Like it was very nervous, and last and like the main reason like my captaining is what it is is because of her like I, I've taken so much inspiration and the way she just kept calm and cool despite having many people sick and injured and not available I think that's a big takeaway and that's made me who I am today she was calm and cool with the fielding as well a couple of catch yeah. of the tournament <laughs> takes there oh. Susie Bates how did you enjoy your performance on the field as a fielder some basketball <laughs> my experience coming in handy as well Oh, look, I love fielding, always have. I think that's the one thing you can do as a team and it's um, I've always loved it. And to not perform how I would have liked with the battle ball, it was nice to take some key catches. But, yeah, I think I didn't quite answer the question, but I think the main difference, I think last year the associate players will admit that they were perhaps a little bit starstruck, but now they feel on a level playing field and, you know, they're, they're just walking around with their shoulders up and, you know, everyone's just a cricketer with arms and legs and no one's... No one's any more special than anyone else, so I think that's the biggest difference, and that's where we'll see them stand up and compete. Thank you. That concludes the conference. I'm just looking at some questions. Unless if there's there any, questions. yeah, there's a few here. Um, I think let's see if there's anything that's new, otherwise we'll just let it go. From bowling in the T20 World Cup to this, how much has she practiced in between? <laughs> Yeah, I, I bowled a lot at the World Cup in the nets, um, not so much in the games, but yeah, I've had a bit of a break um, since the World Cup, but bowled um, in a couple of trainings, but yeah, I just didn't quite come out today in the short boundary, so yeah, hopefully I'll work on that in the next few days at training. The Tirtha of the Under-19 World Cup to come out and bat the way she did, is there something she has worked on in her batting specifically? Um, I don't think I've worked on much. I think the main thing I worked on was like, I didn't bat the way I wanted to bat in the Under-19 World Cup. So I think the main thing was to find myself again and just play the way I do because I want to play because I enjoy the game, not to show anyone that I have to have something to prove. So I think finding myself was the biggest thing that I did between the World Cup and now. Last question. I have read that. Is that, does that help yeah, you? Yeah. Do you want to? It's yeah, up to you. Um, yeah, just in terms of Australia and... You know, they're increasing the pay for domestic players. I think, you know, if you're not born in Australia, that doesn't matter anymore because there's so many tournaments out there for players from any nation. And look, everyone would love to have the domestic setup that Australia has in their country, but that's not, probably not going to happen. Um, but now we have so many opportunities for female players to be able to be full-time cricketers, um, whether it's playing at home or away. So, look, it's it's huge for Australia, but I think the rest of the world can catch up by having players exposed to these types of tournaments. I think we'll First of all, I'll ask Captain, uh, back at the fair break, how does it feel? How was your first game? Oh, it's always good to be back. Um, I mean, it's not the start that we would have, we would have liked. Um, yeah, today was a, a long, um, tiring day, um, and yeah, we bowled first, but I don't, I, I don't feel like we, we bowled in the areas um, for long period in in those good areas, and um, yeah, I think that's something that we have to, you know, go back and 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 look at and see what areas we could, you know, improve on. Um, it did look like it wasn't very easy to bat on, uh, even even the opposition bits and starts. They had they did struggle. So what was it like for for you out there? Yeah, it was obviously a difficult start for us up front. I felt like the spell, you know, Marizan coupled was exceptional. Um, I think it was kind of just hard to get through that period and capitalize on on bad balls and and where we could score. So, yeah, I think obviously not the start we would have wanted losing you know our star batters up front, but that's cricket and like I said, Cuppy bowled an exceptional spell and some of those balls there's nothing you can do. But on another day, you know, you know, the ball just went straight on staff, you know, and uh, we could have kicked on and chased the 150 down. So I just think it was good bowling um, and we just didn't create partnerships and stay in there long enough. Um, from the opposition side, we were just looking at the scorecard, about 120 of the 150 came from associate players. So really, in that sense, a lot to celebrate. This is what the tournament is about. It's, it's far beyond 
winning and losing. It's about um, celebrating victories for the, the group. Oh, I think the number three batter, um, if I correct, yeah, yeah, she she batted she batted really well. Um, she hit those gaps and she capitalized on the bad bad balls and yeah, you know, kudos to her. I thought she stuck in there and um, yeah, she pretty much, you know, bat um, through um, through the innings and yeah, saw the team to a good to um, good total. And newcomers inside. Um, some star star entrants um, in the tornado side. A few names. Uh, you happy with the mix? Yeah, uh, we got Danae Fanikar, um, which is ob obviously an experienced campaigner all around the world. Um, unfortunate for us that she didn't come off today, but there's still a lot of games to come, and I'm sure she'll settle in um, and would want to, you know, contribute to the team in any way in the games coming. And looking ahead, what are you most looking forward to? You just, you know, you just in Hong Kong. A new venue, a new space, and um, it looks exciting. Well, I guess we'll have to get used to, you know, the the, the ground that we're playing at, and um, I, and also how strategic, how how do you how do you you know maneuver your bowlers and um, yeah and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I think probably for 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 a lot of us, um, yeah, you you don't really want to be a, a bowler and, and a wicket like this. And we haven't seen the sun yet. Have you guys seen the sun yet in Hong Kong since nope. you've come here? Nope. Just been raining. <laughs> Don't actually know how we played today. Um, the conditions weren't that great, but I believe the sun will come out soon. Great. I'm just going to see if there's any questions um, in there in the chat. If there's anyone who wants to ask any questions, I think we do have some. We'll go. Um, yeah, that's the first question. From Sportsa, question for Sunilus. The calls grew louder for you to bowl more internationally among those watching you when you do. Do you get a chance to see people asking this of you on social media and how do you react? Uh, yeah, I think confidence or bowling is a confidence game and at the moment I'm still working on it. So when I think in this tournament when staff calls on you know, calls upon me, I'll I'll give it my best. Um, but it's still a work in progress. I feel like leg spin is definitely not the easiest um, thing to do, and especially not in rainy conditions with a wet ball. But um, no, we still got a lot of games, and hopefully, I can just get that confidence back and just keep on bowling. Excellent. Um, next one is we also got a Marizan cap versus Dana show today. Was there any chatter about that? Also, will we see Danibo? Yeah. Um, there was no chat um, about both of them. Um, if there were any, it must be probably amongst both of them. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Um, yeah, we hope that you know Dane Dane bowl bowl a few for us. Um, I know she's still you know working herself back into 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 playing. So there is no pressure on her. Um, but yeah, hopefully she she bowl a few for us. Um, that one, Sita Rana was not seen involved in bowling or batting. She just completed her domestic se season uh, in in good form. Any injury or anything specific like that? Um, that was probably on on but on my side. Um, well, given the condition and type of bowler Sita. Sita is really, um, I just thought that having more seam um, and given the, 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 the boundary, it probably wouldn't have worked in her favor. Um, so that was just my call from judgment. Um, but yeah, I mean, we still have more games to go. So yeah, we'll see how, how, how she go in, in the next game.